right Reverend. That's the right Reverend Ray Charles. And anything that Ray Charles does, I'm tempted to let it play. Mama, yo, daddy, yo, this is Wally on the radio. I'm in the patio today, so this is Wally on the radio in the patio. And I'm bringing you real rhythm and blues. And this is Wally on the weekend. I'm glad to be here. Beautiful weekend, beautiful Florida weekend. And I'm going to play some real rhythm and blues. You will not hear Beyonce. You will not hear 50 Cent. You will not hear a dime a quarter. But you will hear Wally on the radio with some real rhythm and blues. And I got to tell you, I'm feeling real, real good this afternoon because I had breakfast at Perkins. And you know, for a real meal that's good, Perkins is the real deal. I had breakfast this morning with my in-laws, and boy, I took them to Perkins, and we had a good time. I didn't want to leave. It was like manna from heaven. And so let's get started. You all know uh, that we lost two greats, two greats in the last two weeks, two great pioneers of rhythm and blues. We lost Lou Rawls, y'all, and we lost the Wicked Picket yesterday. Yesterday, Wilson Pickett died in the a.m. of a massive heart attack. He's been sick for the last year, but he was 64. And, of course, Lou Rawls, was 72, and Lou Rawls died two weeks ago, and I got quite a few phone calls and emails, said, Wally, why didn't you do something about Lou Rawls? And I didn't, and I apologize. I was remiss. I should have played some Lou Rawls, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to start off this program this is the first recording that Lou Rawls ever did. He was 19 years old, and he was on the mega hit by Sam Cooke, and he was on the background. He was in the background. He was the guy that said, yeah, yeah, yeah. His first recording, and this is Sam Cooke and Lou Rawls, y'all. Remember this trivia question. Who was the guy who did the background of this song, Bring It On Home to Me? Well, it was Lou Rawls, and it went something like this. Uh, the late, great Sam Cooke and the late, great Lou Rawls, uh, they were friends through high school and used to sing in different groups. And when Sam made it big, he decided to go back and get his buddy, and Lou Rawls, 20 years old, and that was his first recording, backing up his good friend Sam Cooke, Mississippi Sam Cooke, and you know, I don't know whether Lou Rawls, I think he may have been born and raised in Chicago, but uh, those two greats have gone on to the great R&B in the sky, Lou Rawls, y'all, Lou Rawls, and I will play a couple more selections by Lou Rawls. And yesterday, it saddened my heart. The Wicked Picket. The Wicked Picket died yesterday morning in New Jersey. Teaneck, New Jersey, where he lived. Well, he was from Prattville, Alabama. Prattville, Alabama. That's where the Wicked Picket was from. And then he moved to Detroit. And when he got out of high school, he went to the United States Air Force. And there he met another fellow, Eddie Floyd. And when they got out of the Air Force, they formed a group called the Falcons. And they hit it big in Detroit with their very first recording. Wilson Pickett was leading on this record. And this record, this record hit me where I live. This record came out in 1962. It was a monster hit. And it's called... I found the love, but you never heard such soul-staring love 
uh, love, you tell a woman how you feel about her. And this guy had a raspy voice, and he, he sang with so much emotion. And people don't have emotion today. They don't bring out the best in you. But when you listen to Pickett tell his woman how he feels about her with that raspy voice and so much emotion and so much feeling. And the singers today, they just don't have it. But he was introduced to the R&B world with this number one hit. This is Wilson Pickett on lead, and he's singing... I found the love, and he's leading a group called the Falcons out of Detroit, Michigan. And if this record don't hit you where you live, rigor mortis has set in. And that is the wicked Wilson Pickett, the late, great Wilson Pickett. And that's the first time that we heard his name, and he was leading the Falcons. He was 22 years old. He and Rafe and and, and, uh, Eddie Floyd started the Falcons, and that was a mega hit called I Found a Love, the wicked, wicked Wilson Pickett. And you know Pickett has been in ill health for the last couple of years, and uh, he, he quit the Falcons after that song became a hit, and they went a single. Him and Eddie Floyd quit uh, for whatever reason, and he went single. And then he had his stride in the 60s uh, with Mustang Sally and the Midnight Hour. And, of course, I'll play that a little bit later on when I'm... Well, I'll just play it a little bit later on because Pickett was one of my favorite, favorites. So we're going to play... We're going to play Lou Rawls. We, well, I say we. I'm going to play Pickin' and Lou Rawls all day. Well, not all day, but for the rest of the duration of my show. And now I'm going to pay a bill. Hey, you had two selections by the Drifters. Clyde McFadden and the Drifters did Adorable Baby. And then you had Benny King. And you know the Drifters had about uh, four or five lead singers led by Klein McFadden first and then Benny King and then Rudy Lewis. And uh, they had quite a few hits. George, George Treadway owns the Drifter's name. And so there's about a hundred groups out here still performing in various incantations of the Drifters. And now, uh, let's pay another bill. 9705 is Pfizer, Pfizer is doing something that uh, we think is very important to our community. They want to help you get your prescriptions. So please, please, when I play this commercial again, get your pencil out and I'll let you know. And uh, you can write the 800 number down and please give them a call. And they will be glad to tell you what they can do for you in your prescription medication problem. And it's a darn shame that some people have to choose between prescription drugs and eating. But uh, that's the way it is. So Pfizer is trying to help you out. See if they can help you by calling that number. And let's get back to our little tribute to Wilson Pickett. And this is his second largest hit by himself. And it's called In the Midnight Hour. That was a wicked picking and Mustang Sally. And that was his number one uh, bestseller. Uh, that record sold the most. And then it crossed over a little bit. So it was a multi, multi, well, half a million seller. It didn't cross over that much. But uh, it became his number one hit. Pickett was big in the 60s. He had some more hits like a 6, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8, 9. I'm in love and a couple of more. And we'll try to get to him. But now uh, we'll, uh, we'll play a, uh, pay another bill. And uh, 
I'll uh, find something on the Lou Rawls and come back with Lou Rawls' his biggest hit, which was, you'll never find a love who will treat me like I do. Now, Lou Rawls crossed over in a huge, huge way. He crossed over because he did not sing just, just R&B. Lou Rawls sang gospel. He sang blues. He sang pop. He sang everything. So he really, really crossed over. And when in, 19, in 1972 or 73, uh, I think it was, yeah, I know it was. It was Frank Sinatra who saw him in Las Vegas, and he gave Lou Rawls an accolade. He said that Lou Rawls had the finest chops singing the voice that he had ever heard, ever earned, ever heard, I'm sorry, had ever heard. And when that reached the papers and TV, Lou Rawls crossed over. And when an R&B artist crossed over, he just made all kind of money. And one word from Frank Sinatra about his singing style, and Lou Rawls became extra, extraordinary, huge. And now, let's pay another bill. Now, Noni Juice, I've been telling you all about Noni Juice for some time now, and this stuff really, really works. It's some great, great stuff. It makes me feel better. I take three ounces a day, and it puts more pep in my step, more glide in my stride. So take it from old Wally. Call 407-521-8174 and order your Noni juice, and you will be glad you did. This stuff really, really works. And let's hear from Lou Rawls, y'all. And the late, great Lou Rawls, and you're going to miss my loving. And I got another recording by him somewhere. I got to find it. But uh, uh, that's his biggest seller. You're going to miss my loving. And now we're going to play Perkins Soul Trivia. You know the deal. You know the drill. If you know who made this song, you got to call me. The first person who calls me and tells me who made this song, I will send them a Perkins gift certificate. And you know, if you want a good meal, no matter whether it's breakfast, lunch, or dinner, Perkins, Perkins is the real deal. You get a good meal at Perkins. So call me statewide, 800-432-9523, or in Lake County, 787-9523. And the first one that calls me and tell me who made this record, I will send them a bodacious Perkins gift certificate. Hey, that was New Birth. New Birth did that. New Birth out of Memphis, Tennessee. And old Ted Hadley out there in uh, Sanford knew who that was. In the beginning, he knew right away, so we'll have to send it to him. And Bernice, Bernice, darling, I just, I can't give it to you. Bernice, she told me it was New Baby, and she was first. New Baby is close, Bernice, but uh, New Birth actually made the song. It was New Birth, baby. New Birth. Not New Baby, but you had the new part, right? I mean, you were in the ballpark, Bernice. But don't get mad. Oh, Wally, we got to do it right. I got to do it right. I mean, the game is designed to be played right. I can't give it to you because you holler New Baby, and I know you were first. But the name of the group is New Birth. So, Bernice, I'm sorry. But the next time, I think 
you will get it because you hanging in there. And let's do something by Michael Henderson. Oh, oh, oh. 